even if the RAID 5 array you are reassembling contains errors, in most cases, Taskforce will be able to detect all of its parameters and is likely to even image the whole RAID. Let's see how it works. Select the drives that make up the RAID array and wait for Taskforce to run auto detection. As Taskforce parses the data on the drives and detects errors, it shows the error tags next to the respective RAID members. By hovering over a tag, you can see the number of the encountered errors. Auto detection needs a few minutes to complete the search for the suitable parameters for this RAID out of thousands of potential variants. Once the configuration is found, click Apply and all the parameters are automatically used to mount this RAID. Despite the errors on the drives, Taskforce is able to mount the partitions of the RAID for preview using data redundancy of this RAID. To acquire an image, select the target drive and start the imaging. During imaging, when an error is encountered, Taskforce automatically reconstructs the missing data on the fly. It uses the data in the parity blocks on the remaining members of the RAID. This process is seamless, needs no involvement of the operator, and allows recovering the full image. The imaging report reflects all the details of the RAID, including its configuration, member drives, the imaged sector range, and the hash calculated during the session. Because all of the data has been successfully reconstructed and imaged, the number of errors reflected in the report is zero.